Hey, it's Brian. Hard to believe, but I've had my P1S for over a month now, and it's time to do some of the regular maintenance. Figured I'd uh, take you along and we can learn together. So let's dive right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, check the AMS, specifically the desiccant, uh, to make sure it's not uh, used up. It's color changing, so it should be easy to see. Um, the uh, humidity sensor inside that I put in says it's 10%, so it probably is good, but let's go ahead and check it to make sure. All right, so let's take a look. And everything, as you can see, is still uh, bright orange, so we are fine. Let's go ahead and put it back. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll close that back up. And I will go ahead and uh, we need to go ahead and remove the... Um, AMS on the top of the unit. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, remove the AMS here. So let's push this in and pull that out. Um, and then up here, we need to uh, disconnect this cable. So now we can go ahead and take the AMS off. Okay, let's start by uh, cleaning the top glass. Lay that down. Wipe it down really good. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to take out the glass carefully here. Let's turn it over and clean the bottom. Okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and put that aside for now. So the first thing we want to do is clean the uh, carbon rods. So I'm going to take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol here on a cloth and just go ahead and uh, carefully clean these. All right, that's clean. Let's do the next one. Okay, move this out of the way a little bit and do the other side. Okay, they look, uh, they're nice and clean now. Uh, let's check this. Let's see how the scraper, the scraper looks. Everything looks good there. I'm, um, okay. Tubes look good here. Uh, a quick break for a quick ask. If you like these videos, please hit the like button and comment. If you don't like them, tell me what you don't like about them in the comments. I'm learning and I hope to get better over time and I'd like to hear what type of videos you'd like to see. So now we're going to use our uh, USB compressed air blower and kind of blow out, uh, clean all the dust out of here. And uh, we'll also do the fans while we're here as well. So now let's carefully uh, take the extruder cover off. Oh, the fan hasn't been on. Okay, we got to make sure we put that back. Um, all right, so we took the extruder cover off. Let's blow out uh, the extruder here and make sure everything looks okay. Okay. And while we have it off, let's uh, go ahead and uh, blow the fan motor off. And then we'll reconnect it because it looks like the wire may have been off for a little while. Okay, now we're going to clean out the uh, chamber fan with the blower. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and clean the uh, camera lens. Again, some isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free cloth. 
And let's go ahead and clean that really good. Okay. Now let's clean the back fan with the compressed air. Okay, I think we're all done and now we can put everything back together. So there you have it. 10 minutes and your monthly maintenance is all done. Pretty simple. Um, the next couple months we'll go through uh, the maintenance again because there's different things you got to do uh, like two and three months. So I'll show you those uh, when we get to 60 and 90 days. Hope you enjoy the video. See you next time.